Hello guys. What they asked the federal government to do concerning Mazen Namdekano's charges, I mean terrorism charges. The legal team of Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has urged the federal government to drop the terrorism charges against him or grant him bail so that he prepare properly for his trial. The legal team, which made the call during a press briefing on Wednesday in Abuja, described the condition their clients were heard at the Department of State Service DSS detention facility as very hostile. Aloy Juma called the special counsel to Kano said, His continued detention at the DSS facility is not conducive, as the environment is hostile and unfit for him to prepare for his defense. The lawyer also stated that Kano's frustration to the judge in his last court trial, where he asked the trial judge to rescue herself from the cause, was because he felt his fundamental human right to fair trial was being denied. Another member of the team, Barrister Maneka Ijofo, said Kano's action wasn't out of disrespect to the court, but purely in exercise of his right as prescribed in the country's constitution. Another lawyer in the team, Jude, attributed the insecurity challenges in the Southeast to the continued denial of bail to Kano. Now, I've been asking this, so what is the fate of Mazen Namdi Kano now? Because right now, even his lawyers, you know, are confused. Now the Nigerian government have blocked every access to get to him. That was in retaliation of asking Justice Vinta Inyako to rescue herself from, you know, from, from his trial. Understand? Nigerians have said that is the best thing, you know, and uh, Justice Inyako rescuing herself did the best thing as well. It don't be like say you day you day you day inside moto. You know they move, you know they go front, you know they go back. Everybody just did the sedan. Doing what now? The case is not going forward. It's just stagnant. Nigerian government is not helping out matters. If you won't try this man, try him. Make the world not say you they try him. This is not how to try somebody. This is not. This is not how to try somebody. If you won't give a punishment, pronounce it, because they know. They have nothing to say. So all these delaying status is just wasting his time. You get why some other statement said it is just like playing the game of Muhammad Buhari, President Muhammad Buhari. Tinubu self is confusing the matter because you know the government have no case against the IPOB leader. Sami Made said the other day that uh, the judge presiding, the former judge presiding Mazen Namdekanu's case, Justice Vinta Inyako, said something like, the Nigerian government does not have proof against Mazen Namdekanu. And the, that is why the matter is just like this. How can you have a court case today? You go face four months again. And that four months again, they go face another four, four, another four months again. Meaning that they are not... They are not ready for what they are doing. They are not ready. So all these ones are just intimidating the person, wasting the person's time and causing more problems in their region. Because they understand that more he's in the in the in the DSS custody, more his people is having problems. They understand the insecurity in the Southeast is all this. So why are they playing this game? Why? International organizations, human rights international organizations have called Nigerian government several times concerning this case. They don't see threaten that gov Nigerian government will face sanctions because of this. You can't go against what you are a signatory to. You are working against it because you want to favor yourself. You do that in your, in your, in your country and you still want to do that, you know, internationally. It doesn't make sense now. This case should end. If now won't put them for prison, then pronounce it. If you won't, if you won't, if you won't release them, release them. If you won't try them, try them. Let the world know the one you are doing. He said the other day, this is the fourth year he's in the DSS custody. He don't know his fate. 
He doesn't even know what Nigerian government is up to because even Nigerian government, they don't know what they are up to concerning this case. They know. They know. They themselves don't even know what they are up to. So all these things they are just doing is just wasting the young man's you know, time and causing more problems in the Southeast. The government should release him because subjecting, you know, this man to this kind of a thing is not really in the favor of Southeasterners. That is the gospel truth. At the drop on for you, share your thoughts below in the comment section. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.